right. Peace and blessings, everybody. Welcome back to another video. How everybody doing, man? I'm doing wonderful. I'm blessed. I can't stop smiling. You know, when you got that love and that peace of Jesus in you, that Holy Spirit in you, you're a different creature, man. You're a new person. But all right, y'all. So today, the Holy Spirit want me to talk about unforgiveness because this is something that not just I struggle with. A lot of people like to hold grudges and pay blood with blood. And you can't pay blood with blood. We're going to tell you that right now. You know, because there's a demon behind everything that suppresses somebody, whether you want to admit, whether you know or not, or whether you want to accept that or not. So um, I had this problem with my wife. You know, I used to be mad at her. I never, let me put that out there. I never had a problem unforgiving a lot of people. I had a lot of problems unforgiving. My main two unforgiveness problems came from forgiving myself because I was always beat myself up and unforgiving my wife. And, um, because we would go back and forth and the devil knew that would get to me. That was a way to get to me. Anybody else could not get to me, but myself, I would be hard on myself. So, you know, um, you know, like I said, ever since I went to the five day fast, no food deliverance, um, not only did we just sit there, but we was getting taught every day. So we was getting the word. They was teaching us the word. They was teaching us things on what's going on. All right, y'all. So I don't have my car on and I've been seeing these little fuzzies going around my car. Somebody said that's angelic. So if y'all see this, comment down below. So I absolutely don't have my car on. So there's no way, no wind, no fuzzies should be flying around. So, but uh, back to what I was saying. So yeah, so I got taught a lot of stuff and Honestly, man, I thank God for the generational rise up as churches in Dallas. A lot of people should go there and get delivered. And just any church home, man, go there or any church home. Get delivered. See what demons y'all have. See what generational curses y'all have to get them broken off. So I want to say that deliverance is very, very needed. And I would say, don't get delivered if you're not going to be committed 100% to Jesus because them demons will come back seven times worse. So if you feel like you still want to be of the world, don't do it. Because you don't want to invoke those demons back seven times worse. But all right. So the Holy Spirit told me to talk about unforgiveness. Because there's a lot of people that just have not been getting their prayers answered. The Holy Spirit told me to tell you guys. Like if you guys are expecting a financial miracle. Or any type of. um, Any type of works of God. How do you expect the great God. That came down as Jesus Christ to hear you and if he forgave us for doing him y'all don't realize jesus took on every single sin there was spit mockery um his creation that he created turned it back on a rejection like it's so much stuff i can say and he he, he took on that pain physical pain sickness they put vinegar in his mouth but you know what jesus did you know what god the father did he sent his son, which is him, human version, to forgive. A form of forgiveness is a form of love. That's showing humility, love, and patience. Because it takes a real person, a real guy, a real woman to love on somebody that did them wrong. And that's, humum that's humility because you're humbling yourself, right? So that's how God the Father works. He's a humble God. He came down as Jesus. He could have came down as this masquerade human being with all type of fire coming out of his eyes. But he came down and he lived among humans. And he's God. Imagine coming down humbling yourself like that as a God. Right? So that's what he expects of us because God is love. And that's the type of God we serve. You know, I don't know what God's. If y'all ain't Christians, I don't know what God y'all serve. Satan ain't love. He pays blood with blood. People pay blood. People pay sex to get money. But the God we serve, he forgives. And then he rebuilds. And he don't look at that no more. So we got to um, we gotta start forgiving, man, man. Because God got his face turned this way. Or something in front of God way. He doesn't hear you praying. And the devil don't want you to see this video. Because he would know some of y'all is the moment y'all let that person go from your heart. God can start to move. Y'all don't even understand unforgiveness bring affliction. Some of y'all wonder why y'all got back chronic pain. and Y'all think, oh, I'm just old. It's running my family. No, that doesn't just run in your family. Unforgiveness runs in your family. 
So the demons and the devil, they've been studying humans before we was even here. And they got a timeline and a sheet of every human being and generations. Oh, his dad struggled with unforgiveness. Let's do rejection so he can unforgive her. So that way we can attack that knee. And boom, that's how generational curses come about as far as like pain. A lot of y'all got pain that is never going to go away until y'all let that person go captive in y'all heart. So the Holy Spirit told me to do this video. Because unforgiveness is the main thing. Not only is it the main thing, you can't even make it to heaven. So for the people that never heard this, for the Christians, y'all already know this. But for the non-believers that's watching this channel, you won't make it to heaven. You could be a Christian and not make it to heaven if you don't forgive, man. I had some friends I had captive in my heart because of what they done to me. Because I felt I didn't do anything wrong and I felt like they needed to do that. But I had to look at it and say, man, he dealing with spirits. She dealing with spirits. A lot of people is oppressed with spirits. It ain't him. Let me let that person go and pray for him. So, man, y'all got to learn how to forgive, man. When you forgive, it, it's going to set you free. That is self-deliverance right there. Imagine you getting set free by just forgiving. I could tell y'all a quick story right quick. I forgave my friend that I grew up with and it wasn't actually that bad. It wasn't hard. Once I forgave him, it was like weights got lifted off me knowing that I don't have to be mad at this person no more for years of doing nothing just off one thing. Cause I expected this person to be perfect and he's a human being just like me. Once you see it like that and realize like they're not a God, they're not angels, they're, they make mistakes as well. Why am I holding this person captive? It make you think about one, two, three, and four. One, sin is sin, how God looks at it. Your stuff stinks just as bad as theirs. And who are you? You're not God. And if you can get over that, even with raping people, I know this is going to sound crazy, but I'm at this point in my channel. I don't care because I'm doing this for God. I'm doing this for Jesus. You know, I'm not doing this for just money. I'm not doing this for people to love on me because if I was doing that, I can go back to doing my content I've been doing. I made it to millions of followers on different platforms, Facebook, 4 million followers. I'm going to tell it how it is. Gays, I'm going to tell you, uh, raping, people say, what about raping? Man, look, you got to forgive that person because just like it's a demon oppressing you to go out there to lie, to go out there to steal, what makes raping different from that sin? It sounds crazy, right? When you murder people and you say, this dude killed this person. Well, I'm sorry. But that person is dealing with something that's either generational curse, witchcraft that's making them do it, or he's very oppressed and hearing thoughts that's making them do it, which is a demon. And once you can realize that we doesn't wrestle against the prince, of, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but the principalities and the rules of darkness, then you can see how we supposed to operate and show love. And that's why God said, pray for your enemies. Because they're dealing with something that's trying to take them out. They're dealing with something that's trying to take them out. I didn't just want to commit suicide when I was cheating on my wife. It's over time gradually. And that's why they need somebody to pray. What if nobody in their family is saved? And what if you was on an assignment to pray for him and God gave you that assignment? So many people that got assignments that they're not even doing it. It could be the littlest assignment God will put you on to save that person up because God look at every soul as valuable. If everybody on this earth was sinning, he would he would have sent Jesus just for that one person, just like the days of Noah when the whole world got flooded. Noah's ark. It wasn't that many people on that on that, but God works with a little bit. That's how God works. He works with the heart. And if you want to please God, you got to have faith because that works and you got to have a good heart. He looks at the heart posture, man. In order to get a heart posture, forgiving is one of those things that you got to do. It's just something you got to do. So I'm at the I'm at the end of this video. You know, this video ain't long. Just forgive. Forgive opens up uh, prayer, better prayer life, because you'll see God work. You'll see God work immediately. It could be the next minute. Somebody make a phone call and, and want to bless you because God knew what you were struggling with deep down inside. That you didn't want to let that person go because that person did something so bad to you. We serve a God that don't live in time. So we think carnally. 
When we think currently, we always think another what if. We think about the next day. No, what if you forgave that person and in a matter of one hour, something manifests and that was a thank you from God and he blessed you. Let's think about that. Come on, man. Learn how to forgive, y'all. Forgiveness is the key to major breakthrough in your life. There's other things in the kingdom we must do, but forgiveness is the key. And I'm here to tell you guys, the devil have so many people trapped up in unforgiveness. Do you know when you get a divorce, that is a sign of unforgiveness because you signed a paper to death through his part. So that means if your wife have a problem with doing something, you supposed to wait and pray to God. You can, look, let me put this out there. If you divorce her, don't date nobody else. You wait or don't even divorce her while you wait and you take it up with God. Because you knew she had a problem. Or let's just say the demons creeped in and made your wife have a problem. You don't give up on your wife. You don't give up on your husband. Because you married that person. You fell in love with that person. You fell in love with that person because you didn't see the demons effect in his life. He hid those from you. But now that you marry, you give up on your wife or her husband because they got problems that they probably had generationally. And now that they're not that y'all married, you know, the devil don't like marriages. So they spring up even worse. You don't give up on that person. Do you know unforgiveness is the number one key to divorce? And that's leading people straight to hell. They think they can marry another person. And when you marry another person, you're dealing with that hurt from your past relationship because you haven't released it. And the devil's smiling, saying they think they a real Christian, but they haven't let go of their wife or they haven't let go of their husband. So they're going to go what? To hell. But churches don't talk about stuff like this. And I'm not just no Pharisee. I'm not just no no, how you want to say it? Like I said, my vocabulary not really that strong for real, but I'm going to tell you what I know and I'm going to tell you the truth. When I wanted to divorce my wife, it wasn't because I was tired of her. What do divorce lead to? They did something that you don't like and it's so big to you that you feel like you need to divorce them. Or it's either you looking on the outside of what other people thinking in and you feel like I can't get back with him or her because of what they're going to think about me. It's either one or two things, man. Cheating, forgive, that's a sin. Uh, what else can happen in a relationship? Abuse, pray for that person. Yes, step out and get away. Don't get beat on, don't get cheated on, but you take it up with God and your prayers standing for that person. God is gonna work and gonna bring you a new creation in that person. And then y'all can have a good relationship. But this got a lot to do with even sibling problems, mother problems, dad problems. Forgive. Because I keep telling you this. I think I did three videos on this. Hurt people, hurt people. And that's what the devil is using to get to the nations, the generations, to trap people. Hurt, rejection, abandonment. Come on, man. If we wake up and show love and preach the gospel and tell people about the wonders of Jesus Christ, it's not going to be hard. It's not going to be easy. Look how long it took me. But I'm here to let you guys know it's more valuable than any money, gold, or riches. Jesus, I'm telling you. And learning how to forgive. I ain't no preacher. I ain't none of that. I'm Joel TV, but I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I lived my whole life with unforgiveness in my heart. And I had a hard life. I'm 30 years old. I've been through some stuff. A lot of times like, the money hit it, but that only lasts so long. That only lasts so long when you can hide behind money. Because I could tell you every single time I made money, I was happy for one week because I was proud of the accomplishment and I was back in depression. There's only so much stuff you can buy. There's only so many cars I can own. Come on, man. There's only so much houses I bought that was depressed. There's only so many females I slept with. I was an athlete. I didn't like doing drugs, but there's only so much drugs you can do before you overdose. There's only so much liquor you can drink before you crash. This is the plot of the enemy. And it starts with what? Unforgiveness. I'm out, y'all. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Jesus Revolution. Uh, I'm holding y'all accountable. Drop a video. Tag me. Tag my wife um, on IG. We repost it, man. Tag a video of what God has brought you out of all throughout your life. Any testimony. Because the power of a testimony will save somebody. And you will probably be the next big YouTuber preaching the gospel.
That's still a YouTube creator. You're just doing it for God. You're just doing it for Jesus. Come on, man. Let's start this revolution. A revolution means it's going to be a change on the internet. It's not going to be the same sexual content that I used to do that all these other creators is doing. It's going to be good for your soul. Because let me tell y'all something, man. Sickness of the soul is real. I just learned that at my deliverance. I didn't know nothing about that. Sickness of the soul is you either depressed. You're, it's something, your soul is so sick. It's manifesting in your body. Shout out to my spiritual mama, mama, man. I love her to death. That lady got so much knowledge. And shout out, like I said, to my church. I go to Generational Rise Up. Shout out to my coach. I got my Christian counselor coach. That's a lot of people help me out, y'all. Like this knowledge I give to y'all, I take in and from other people. Um, my, the prophet, they help me out. It's a lot of people, man. Pastor Glody, um, Pastor um, Austin from Houston, Texas. That's a lot of people that's been helping me out in my life because I was really screwed up bad, man. You know, I had, I had to deal with like unhumbleness, pride, unforgiveness. It's a lot of stuff. Even my wife helped me out a lot. My sister, Riri, um, that's her nickname, but it's a lot, man. Y'all seek righteous counseling and always humble yourself to listen and don't think that you're always right because you're not. It's so much, especially with the spiritual realm and knowing about Jesus. You know, I see the comments, people be comment. I don't say nothing because everybody can be a Pharisee when you just think you're too good to know. Oh, he's been a cheater. Don't go to the press. He wouldn't notice. So I don't really address the hate. But yeah, uh, like, subscribe, comment down below. Jesus Revolution. Join the army. Let's make the devil mad. Let's serve Jesus. Let's do it for Jesus. He did it for us, right? So many people have been failures their whole life or felt like a failure. Well, when you do something for the God of the universe... That one little thing is the best thing that worth more than any of money accomplishments you ever did. Trust me, because whatever you do for the kingdom of God, somebody got delivered. Somebody's watching my video and got delivered. That made me happy. I didn't. I'm like, whoa, you know. So you never know who's watching. I I watch a lot of big YouTubers. I, I kid you not. It'd be people with 50 views that get recommended. They get recommended. And if I was dealing with some type of hurt or pain, that would be the video that God is sending to me. So God knows what he's doing. He was sending videos. So you watching this video right now is not for a reason, whether you're Christian or not. It's full of reason because whether y'all know it or not, everything is spiritual. The witches, warlocks, all these people are extra projecting, word cursing in the spirit realm first. Devils, demons, you name it. Before it manifests, dreams, you name it. All that is seeds, planted, and manifestations to come to the physical realm to affect your life. So whether people think I'm crazy or any other people that do Christian contests, that is a manifestation of demons that's telling you stop watching this if you're not a Christian. So yeah, but this video is getting long. I don't want it to be too long. I like these videos raw. I love y'all. If you guys want to give your, um, your, 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 your life to Christ right now, all you have to do is repent. That means turn away from your sin. Ask God for forgiveness and believe that God the Father came down as Jesus Christ and died on the cross and was rose on the third day. If you believe that, you are now a believer, a Christian, and the Holy Ghost is in you now. Just like that. And let me say this. You must believe in your heart. If you, doesn't believe, if you don't believe in your heart, it ain't going to count. Believe it. Because some of you guys right now wasn't supposed to make it. And Jesus has been looking out for you. God the Father been looking out for you. I could count 10 times I was supposed to die. And when I started going through my deliverance or when I went to church or when I'm in the house, I think about that. And I'm like, imagine me being in hell right now. I was selfish. I was prideful. A lot of you guys watching this Christians or in anybody. Stop and think about the times you knew you was supposed to die or get very, very much harmed. And this happened for a reason. And Jesus protected you with his blood. Think of something right now. You could be watching this while driving. You could crash if you're not a believer right now. You can have a heat stroke right now. You can drop dead. And right now, nobody knows when they're supposed to die. Chasing these dreams, goals, money, aspirations, all that. Fornication. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. You looking at somebody that had it all. Look what I'm in the SRT right now. I still got it all. Nike fit. I'm blessed. Haircut, it's not worth nothing. It's vain. You looking at somebody that had it all, that was poor, somebody that lost it all, that seen the other realms of realms, that seen Jesus' silhouette. Man, I'm telling you, I don't have to say none of this. I'm not crazy, but this is the truth, man. I won't be doing this if it wasn't true. I do this out of love and respect for Jesus because I seen that, man. 
I pray everybody that come across this video get a supernatural encounter somehow, especially the ones that's not believers. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, send your send send just send your conviction to anybody that's watching this video right now, Lord. Send it. Come it to them in a dream. Get them something that happened to me, Lord. But have mercy, because what I seen, I seen hell. It was way wicked. But Lord, anybody that come across this, I don't care if they don't ever watch this part. Just the anointing. On this video right now in the mighty name of Jesus The anointing right now on this video I pray that you encounter this Anybody that needs to see this video Just clicking on this the one second God That they have an encounter with you Lord Jesus An encounter that I had supernaturally To change their life because every soul is valuable Nobody deserves to go to hell Absolutely nobody in Jesus' mighty name, I'm out. I love y'all. Stay blessed. I'm out. Peace. I probably miss some stuff. Work with me, y'all. I talk fast, so I be saying stuff in my head that I think saying stuff out, and it don't be coming out when I watch these videos. I just be like, oh, I was supposed to say this word. But yeah, I'm out. Peace. I'm trying to do a thumbnail, y'all. I really don't like editing these videos. I throw music, but I'm going to screenshot a thumbnail. Love y'all, man.